Ta-da! Welcome, 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 welcome. So today I want to talk to you about music. Music, music, music. Because have you realized that sometimes when we talk about spirituality on this channel, we talk about personal development, people start thinking, thinking, oh, this is serious business. And start being really, really kind of like really focused, really meticulous, and almost, almost like forgetting that this is also a fun process. You're supposed to enjoy yourself while you're here. <laughs> You are supposed to have fun, you are supposed to enjoy yourself. That's why I always try to get you out of negativity into positivity so you can actually enjoy yourself. There's no point of being so spiritual that you, you, you depress and you, you dread in your life. There's no point of uh, you know, working on yourself all the time if it's not making you happy. If you're not taking the time to live your life, but you live it. Not just go from one task to another, not just go from one objective to another. One thing I'm working on this, I need to work on myself really hard. <laughs> Sometimes it's also about you can work on yourself and have fun at the same time. And I think this is something that came to me also because I said um, there was this whole this uh, different discussions about there are many, many people sharing uh, their knowledge about African spirituality. Uh, Dumbia Fakuli, I'll post, oh, those are French. Um, um, but it's just to say that there are many, many people speaking on African spirituality. And one of the, the things that came to me in meditation is that I love having fun. <laughs> I love, I enjoy, um, you know, going to weddings, going to parties. I enjoy mingling with different people. Um, I enjoy um, being social. I mean, not too social. I do have a, a reserve slash shy kind of side. Um, and I'm most of the time like that. But I do also enjoy um, just having fun, enjoying life, and, and, and enjoying music, and, and, and appreciating the, the essence of music beyond the spiritual goal or quest. Um, and that's what I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today. Um, music for us is, uh, we always talk about, you know, pay attention to the lyrics of the song, pay attention to the melody, pay attention to this, pay attention to that. And oftentimes this is done in a kind of negative ways. They tell you pay attention to the lyrics because they may be something sending message to your subconscious. They tell you, they tell you pay attention to the uh, melody or the beats because some of them may be more aggressive than others, some of them may be smoother than others. So it's kind of like, watch out watch out but I'm here to tell you that sometimes it's not about that sometimes it is about choosing the music that helps you move sometimes it is about grooving on the music and sometimes it is about choosing yes the, the, the music and the songs that have uh, words that are going to, um, to make you feel good that are going to be supporting exactly what you want to think about what you're looking forward what is bringing you joy and happiness and I think that's kind of the aspect that I want you to think about today um, to do when you do your next uh, uh, playlist whether for your workout routine or your cleaning cleaning routine because I love 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 to put music on when I when I'm cleaning um, because it just gives you a different vibe different energetics you can slide around the house with the broom or whatever the, the, the hoover and and just uh, and just enjoy the task at hand whether it is where you know cleaning the bathroom or cleaning the ring room or whatever it with the music music brings it to a different level music uh, can also enable you to enjoy things that you may not have enjoyed before just because of the tempo just because of the vibration that it pr is bringing you so when you're choosing things instead of being scared or being cautious because something wrong could happen or not to let something slip up Look for things that actually you listen to and it brings you smiles, it makes you joyful, it brings also a wonderful thoughts to you that are going to be entertaining and maintaining you in that state of bliss and happiness. Um, look for songs and music and all kind of genres so that you can have a different flavor, a different taste, a different tempo as well. I'll, I wouldn't, I'll say sometimes you have to get a little bit outside of your comfort, comfort zone to ex experience something different, to know that there's something else that, you, that can have the same vibration, that can push you the same way towards what you want, towards your, what you're trying to accomplish. And I think that's, um, uh, I'm always, you know, trying to push you to expand yourself in terms of the things that you can discover about yourself or about the world that you didn't know before and that may be very deliciously helpful to you in your journey. Um, and music is something wonderful. Um, 
I'm not even going to get into all of this, uh, all of the theory about the music being you know, used in kind of different ways. For me, I'm telling you that uh, uh, you can focus on the negative, or you can also you can choose to focus on the positive, and to let the positive drive you, instead of always being scared or always looking for something that's wrong, something that's negative, something that's, that that may hurt you. Or that may do that. Focus on something that's good. Focus on something that makes you feel good. Focus on something that, that pushes, that motivates you. You know, in those moments where you're feeling low in energy and you don't know what to do and you don't even want to get out of bed and, and you don't want to go to the gym if you need to go work out or if you don't want to uh, go to this meeting and stuff like that. Sometimes just by putting on that music, it will get you moving, it will get you out of your bed, into your shower and going and out the door. So. That may be just something to consider for some of you. Uh, some of you I know don't need all of that, but I think it's, <clears throat> but I think it's still something to consider, something to be joyful about, and something also that brings to light when we're talking about African spirituality and we're talking about music. And I've had this ongoing conversation about traditional music and uh, mundane mainstream music. And not in kind of an American kind of way with the mainstream music and hip hop and uh, salsa and all this different stuff on the side. More in an African traditional cultural way where you have traditional music that is played and used for traditional rituals in villages, um, in sacred ceremonies. And then you have the African music that is now in the mainstream that everybody listen to at parties <laughs> and that infectiously gets you moving, gets you. Um, yeah, get you moving, get you dancing. And those two to me are very separate and distinct and there's a reason why they're separate and distinct. There's a reason why the, the people have their own type of music and the spiritual community, the spiritual leaders have a different type of music because the purposes are not different, are, are not the same, sorry. And this is, a, a, I'll, I'll probably do a, a separate video on this because I think it's important to get the nuances and the differences and, and it also linked to what I've often said about not everything sacred is going to be put in the in the in the public in the marketplace not everything sacred is going to be taught to everyone because in, in in some shape and form the sanctity and the sacredness of it sometimes comes from the pure simple fact that it is recluded it is secluded it is restricted you have to go through separate several doors before getting to it if that's your purpose to go and find that um, whereas uh, modern African music is for everyone <laughs> it's for everyone, no matter where you are, and it's certainly music that, 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 that that's catchy, music that you know you can hardly stand still when you listen to that, and music that enables you sometimes to awaken your own vibration, your own rhythm. But that's all something that I will I will share with you in a separate video. Uh, so ultimately, I just wanted you to take in consideration the music that's around you. Pay attention when something really good happened to you. What song is playing in the background? Uh, what song is playing at your wedding, what song is playing on those defining moments that you will always remember that song with, that amazing, beautiful, delicious moment. I think this is such something to um, create and to keep doing, to have those beautiful songs attached to beautiful memories that you can cherish for generation and generation, tell your kids about it and the generations to come, um, so that they can go also and, and discover and uh, see that music can be used to heal, to show your love and appreciation, and um, to motivate you and to get you going. So I hope this video was useful. Of course, leave your comments, your uh, comments, suggestions below what you thought of it. Uh, how do you use music? Do you have a workout routine where you where you carefully select each single song? Or would you rather just rather take one of the mixes that's already been made by someone else? Um, or even have a surprise mix where you don't even know the songs on it and you're discovering it as you're working out or as you are using it for whatever task you are doing. Um, those are different approaches and that is like uh, not knowing the songs is not necessarily something that's bad because you discover it as you go. Uh, so let us know in the comment section and uh, certainly uh, we'll uh, take that in consideration for the follow-up. And yeah, so I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!